Okay, so we have, well, not the best weather today. My name is Lutz Goertz. Uh, I present this webinar here from the town of Essen, and uh, we have no audience actually, but I think this is one more reason to record this session, so we make a shorter version of it and just uh, show you the basics uh, of the topic we want to offer you. Uh, the title is called Mobile Apps Helping Teachers in Everyday Life. So we prepared two apps we want to present you and uh, I just go through the presentation. Uh, I think most of you know the project LIHO and its partners and so I think I can skip this point uh, and of course uh, you have seen our website already and I think you'll have a good insight uh, what the project is and does and of course you see the presentation here you can read it uh, if you like but we want to go well to this example first to give you an impression what digital media can do for pupils for students uh, at schools uh, with children with medical needs we have one example here um, which is called BadNet. This is the organization and uh, they have an equipment. They build up in the classroom. They have a camera there and a, a microphone and a screen and of course they have the same equipment in the children's room or in the hospital where the ill child is. And uh, so the child has the possibility to take part in the lessons uh, by camera and can even answer questions and uh, well raise uh, its hand and so on. And uh, I think this is one good example and uh, our task in the project LIHO is to find more good practice examples that can be used in everyday life and uh, not everybody has such an equipment as the people of BadNet in Belgium can offer. But uh, we can show you two very simple tools you can use in your everyday life as teacher dealing with uh, children with medical needs and we will show them to you. Here you find our website and uh, you of course you can join us. It's possible to register. We have a regist registration site and you can uh, get access to more content uh, on our website here. So just click this button and register and then you can read a lot of uh, interesting texts we have prepared for you in the project LIHU in the last three years. But now we have the two tools we wanted to show. Firstly, we have the tool Hocker, the app Hocker, which is a messaging tool. Secondly, we wanted actually to show you the project drawing together, but uh, well, <laughs> since this morning it's uh, a bit senseless because we haven't found this uh, tool in the App Store anymore. So we show you a different tool which uh, has uh, similar functions. But I think we will start with Hocker now and I'd like to introduce my colleague Julia Engelhardt now and she's going to present uh, you her screen. We have two tablets here, of course you can use smartphones if you like. And so we'll go into this mode to show you the two screens we have and now uh, I'll show you the screen of Julia Engelhardt. Hard. Okay, she has no uh, mic actually, so you cannot hear her, but uh, her screen is visible. So, uh, I ju just have to tell you something about the, uh, the app Hocker. Normally, if you do messages, also in Germany, you use the tool WhatsApp. WhatsApp is quite normal and, uh, well, almost everybody in Germany with a smartphone has this app. But uh, if you have sensible data, just like data about uh, illness in children and school, 
this is a very sensitive area and so um, well especially German teachers are not uh, very keen on using a tool which is regarded as not very safely uh, it's belonging to Facebook and uh, it's based in the USA and so <laughs> well German teachers get in trouble to use it it's even forbidden uh, at a lot of German schools and so uh, we were looking for another tool um, and this tool which is based in, in Germany on a German server is called Hocker. It's uh, H-O-C-C-E-R. Hocker has no special meaning in Germany, it's just an artificial word. But uh, the USP, the, the special character of Hocker is that uh, it is safe. It is not uh, necessary to register with a special mail address. You can just load down the app and uh, then use it. Um, and we have opened it here already. It's just an icon on your surface, on your tablet or on your smartphones. And there you see uh, we have uh, entrances of groups and single users. In this case, uh, this is the screen of uh, Julia and I'm here with my name Glashwitz, which, which is my nickname, uh, as a user. And now uh, we will try just to have a simple conversation between those two tablets and I will tell you afterwards um, why it could be interesting for you as teacher. So, Julia, could you tell me just something <laughs> to, to see how it works? It's rather simple. It has a very great usability. Uh, I think even the child can use it uh, without any instructions. So, is it possible to, to type just? Okay. So, typing on the name. Well, we had some messages already and now, um, well, Actually, I can tell you something. I can write you a message. You see, uh, just see uh, on my tablet now. Uh, yes, there is a new group. I'm, I'm just uh, I, I just uh, became member of a group, but now be yes. We step into the group. We have two possibilities. We can, as in WhatsApp, build up groups. So you can address a group of people and of course you can address just a single person. So let's start with a group. Um, let's assume you have um, maybe uh, the case of an ill child and this child, um, well, you have to talk with the parents, you have to talk with the teachers and even with the medical doctors for instance and you want to tell something special. So, uh, I have to start a chat. Just do it now. I hope it works. I'm seeing it here on... Yes, okay. Uh, well, uh, so I, I give the child the name. I call him Joey, maybe. And I write Joey is feeling okay. Just return and send it. And now you see in the group, we call it MMB, we have a message, Joey is feeling okay. And you can answer if you like, maybe if you are uh, uh, the father of this child and can uh, just reply to this message. You see you have a line, a button line here where you can put in the message. It's almost similar to WhatsApp, what you need already. So, would you type <laughs> anything and uh, just answer to my first line? Wonderful. Okay, so you see it's rather simple and of course this is just a, a test dialogue, but uh, you have one great advantage. I'm, I'm not quite sure how you as a teacher normally uh, are in contact uh, with, with parents and medical doctors. 
Uh, often I think you will try it by telephone, but it's uh, often a great problem to get the doctor or to get the teacher or even the, the parents who are working. And uh, maybe you write mails, but uh, not everybody is just looking uh, at his mails now. And so you can use the tablet and the smartphone and just send the message. And parents and medical doctors can see it whenever you like. So this is a possibility to have a dialogue, to have a small network work for just one case. You can, of course, integrate the, cha the child in the dialogues, but I think it's more or less a tool you can use for messages between doctors, teachers, and parents. And I think this is uh, rather important in this case. So just to resume, you can talk to single persons, and of course, you can establish groups. And maybe if you are a teacher, you have 10 or 15 groups for the child uh, you are dealing with now. And so <laughs> this is a, a rather useful tool. Um, of course, it's a German tool. And we are not quite sure uh, how it will work in the future. Um, it's belonging to a great advertising company. And so we are not sure if they will include uh, advertisements in the future. Now uh, the tool is for free. It costs nothing. Let's see how it is in the future. But right now I can recommend this tool for you. And you can load, uh, download it in the App Store and in Google Play, of course. So I think uh, this is the part of Hocker. And uh, as I said, it's a tool. Uh, you normally use um, for dialogues between, <laughs> well, this is the, the screen with a cat, of course. I think everybody has a screen with a cat in the background. <laughs> um, uh, we use a different tool, something for the children. Um, in Germany, we have a great problem. Um, if we talk about uh, ill or sick children or children with medical needs, we have a lot of uh, psych psychic problems. Uh, it's a, well, it's more or less a problem of mental needs, not of physical needs. And so um, there are a lot of people, well, who have problems with eating, for instance, or are afraid, uh, and so on. And uh, Going into the internet and have just normal lessons is maybe not the right thing <coughs> to, uh, to cope with these children. And so we were looking for a tool which is just encouraging creativity. And uh, well, we found the tool drawing together, which is very rich, but uh, which is not available anymore. And here I can recommend another tool which uh, is called Scribble Together. It's not drawing together, Scribble Together. And uh, of course, you can download this tool uh, in the App Store, I think also the Google Play Store, for free. And its purpose is that you can draw anything you like. You can take your tablet or take your smartphone. The child can take it uh, in the in the bedroom, in the in the playroom, in the house, and draw anything. Of course, you can use paper and pencil and so on. But here, you have some more possibilities. So Julia and I will show you how it works. Of course, uh, here we have another uh, button. You see it. Uh, oh, my camera is not working now. Um, you push the button, scribble together, and now I have the possibility to to paint anything. And let's have the idea first that uh, the children is alone and paints something for itself, for him or herself. I can use a color. I use a color. You can yes, you can see it now. And now Julia is painting something. You see, you can use lines here. You can uh, thicken the lines. And now you can just use your finger 
and color anything on the screen, on the display here. You can well, paint some clouds and a beautiful sun, of course, and so on. And, well, if you have a child which is alone, which uh, just wants to do anything or wants to, to do something creative, I think it's a, a good means uh, even to, to cope with their own sickness, uh, well, then you can just let the child paint. And, well, the possibility in this case is you, uh, you can save this file. You can uh, save the flower and the grass and so on. You see now it's saved. And you can also send these paintings. You see here some older paintings from us. Uh, you can see our gallery here. And, uh, well, we can, um, of course, send those paintings. Send it from the hospital to the parents or to other children in the class. But there is no connection right now. But this tool has one different advantage uh, that, that uh, normal paintings uh, have not if children are in a hospital. So I just go backwards. You can combine, you can connect other people who are around. You see it here. And uh, here you see uh, Julia has the iPad from Lutz. Well, this is me. And uh, you can send a request to invite another body you know, and uh, so you can draw this picture together. So uh, I think you have to tap on iPad from von Lutz. Is that right? <laughs> yes, OK. Now I have an invitation, and I can accept it. Now let's see. We are connecting here. Oh, yes. Uh, I have uh, now the possibility to, to paint something. Yes, she wants to connect and I accept it. Now, oh, sorry, it's disconnected, by the way. I hope we can do it once again. Scribble, I push accept. Now, just, well, that's strange. <laughs> Julia is always disconnected. I'm not sure why it is like this. Maybe we are not close together. I'm not sure. It's always like this. If you want to show something, then it's not working. So what's, what's the case? Julia, just start scribbling. If I do something, can you see it like this? No. Not now. Okay. Well, it's a pity. <laughs> we, we are always getting disconnected. I'm not quite sure. So, Julia wants to connect, and I try it once again. Or maybe we do it the other way around. So, I try to find people around. I find Julia, and now I invite her. Now, let's see. I'm disconnected, of course, because I've done a new invitation. So we are connecting now. Yes, except, let's see. Well, now let's hope. <laughs> if it's not this, we are not, no. Well, this, this is a pity. Normally, <laughs> it worked very well this morning, but uh, I think now we are not getting together now. Well, it's a pity. But uh, in an ideal, ideal situation, you can combine the paintings and have to test it out at home. So I think we stop here with our tests with the two tools and go back into creation. Thanks, Julia, so far. And, and uh, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, our presentation, although <laughs> we had this uh, right normal presenting effect uh, like in every patient.
Um, if you want to join us again, we have several uh, several topics we can offer you in the next time. Um, under in under this link, you will find some more webinars. We have just picked out two for you here. Uh, it's on the 2nd of November. Uh, we have uh, one English presentation, European Wide Experiences of Best Practice in HHE, Home and Hospital Education. And another one by Bednet, you uh, saw the example already from Belgium, uh, on, the, uh, on the 16th of November. It's called Presentation of the Practical Guide and the Toolkit. Those are two uh, tools, two uh, texts we can offer you. And uh, the people from Badnet will present this text, which I regard as uh, very helpful. So we are at the end of our presentation. I'd like to thank you. Thank you in the future when you will see this presentation. And, well, I hope, uh, well, Liho was very helpful for you. You have a look at the Liho website uh, if you want to have some good advice or want to read our papers. And so, have a nice day and bye-bye.